soliloquies and I am working to create a series of um, tutorials or sh demonstrations showing my process for creating art quilts. And the first quilt that I'm going to be working on um, in this video series is an opossum. So um, this is my reference photo for the opossum. And I'm working to build a portfolio of art quilts where the focus is animals that can be found in New Hampshire, wildlife that can be found in New Hampshire. Um, so I've done a little bit with the beaver. Um, I created a robin, um, painted robin with a collage and now working on a thread painting. And the next one I'm going to start is the possum. I'm a little bit of a messy artist. Um, I tend to create uh, or start a project and not quite finish it. Um, I do have a plan for these though. I recently um, got a new baby lock um, sewing machine, which allows me to do some really nice free motion uh, thread painting and um, as well as quilting. So I'm going to be using that to do a lot of the thread painting on these collage quilts. So my complex process um, is a lot of mixed media. I do painting, I do ink tense pencils, I do um, fabric collage, um, add the embellishments with the thread painting, and then I'm going to use the quilting aspect to create texture and form. Um, like for example, the, the beavers are going to be quilted so that they kind of come out a little bit. Um, so this is just kind of, uh, you know, watching me do the process. I'm starting from scratch with the possum, uh, quilt and I'm going to kind of show in this video how I create the line art design and then use that as the foundation. I've always really liked opossums, even though they tend to be viewed as nuisance animals, I find them quite fascinating. In this video, I'm going to show how I create the line art design that will be used as the template for the art quill itself. Um, I'm starting with a reference photo from pixabay.com, which is a website that artists can use for copyright free reference photos. And the Pixabay license for this photograph of a mama possum and babies is free to use under the Pixabay license with no attribution required. This particular photographer has great photos of wildlife. So I start with a photograph, or sometimes I even use several reference images, and I use Procreate on an iPad. I have used other apps like Photopea, GIMP, and other free online photo editing tools in the past, uh, but I like being able to use the pen to draw directly on the screen, which you can do with Procreate on an iPad. Procreate also offers layers, so I add the photograph as a layer into a new image, and then I lock that layer. In a new layer, I draw an outline of the areas I want to focus on, and generally block out the background. I do create some lines to show different areas of value and contrast, and that's gonna help me during the collage process. So the result is this line art, and this is the essential shapes that I'm going to be using when I start working on the collage and design aspects of the art quilt. So I print out the reference photo in color, and then I print out this line art. If I need it bigger, I can either print it out digitally, um, go to a copy shop, or even project it up on a wall and then trace it onto my paper. I place my line art on a smooth work surface like a table and then place the foundation fabric over it. I use a white 100% cotton foundation fabric as the base for my art quilts. Layers of art, collage, and thread will be built up on this foundation. I position the fabric over my line art and tape it down using washi tape. Then I use a sharpie to trace the lines onto the fabric. For this opossum and her babies, I wanted to show areas where the fur might be a darker value. These values will help create a more realistic image. Value is really important when an artist is trying to create the illusion of light and shadow. The end result is a piece of white cotton fabric with the line art template drawn onto it. The next step in my process will be selecting fabrics and preparing them with fusible if needed. 
Again, this is Cherie with Soliloquies. Thanks for watching the first video in the art quilt creative process, the awesome line art and foundation drawing that gets me started on the journey. And please subscribe if you're interested in learning more about how I continue this possum art quilt.